Hello everybody and welcome to the Rose Tarricles. My name is Rose and today we'll be doing a reading for the cusp of oscillation for the zodiac cusp of Cancer and Leo for the month of May 2020. During this reading please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Since this is a general reading it may not resonate with you 100% okay. Now if this is the case Please do not hesitate to watch the videos for your Moon, Rising and Venus signs to get a better picture of the message Spirit is guiding you towards. If you wish to contact me, all my details are in the description box below. Finally, I thank God, Source, the Universe, all the Archangels and Angels of Love and Light, all the Spirits and Spirit Guides of Love and Light for guiding me to share my gifts with you all. If you like your readings, please do not hesitate to like, share and subscribe to this channel. So cusp of oscillation, let's get started. I've meditated over shuffle your cups and they are now ready for a good read. I hope the cards are in are visible. There you go. Right. Right, so cusp of oscillation, let's see what's going on in your reading for the month of May 2020. That came out reverse. It's very un unexpected. <clears throat> oh my God, that's right. So, <clears throat> give me a minute. Bubbles wants to go outside. Well, she's going to start crashing the door, and it's going to be a problem. a bit of distraction but if you know bubbles she's a bit naughty right so coming into the reading seems like oh, there's been a lot of conflicts in your life darling by the looks of it on both sides your partner's side your side you all both want to end it What's going on? Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. 
Right. So there's been some uh, disagreements, some arguments, some conflicts between you and your partner in this relationship because somebody over here may have felt that the other person was uh, paying too much attention to other things. Yeah, somebody over here may have felt that uh, one person was paying too much attention to the negative uh, in the relationship and was just digging at it. Yes. That is your partner. That's what your partner is thinking. And they had to defend themselves against you. Mm. One of my cards have gone missing. Sorry. So. Mm. Sorry. Good God. Right. <clears throat> so I think it's a misunderstanding. If you ask me, there's some kind of misunderstanding that's been going on over here. I don't know where that came from, but that's what I, well, that's the message I've got. Right, so let's take a look. Coming to you, reading, yes, you want to put an end to the situation, your partner wants to put an end to the situation, but, um, you feel the conflict. What is the reason for the conflict was my question. So you feel as though your partner was cheating on you with another person. You think that your partner was cheating on you romantically. Hmm? And there's been a conflict that has been going on for quite a while. This has been going on for quite a while because if you, it looks as though if you put the two of you in the same room, yeah, you wouldn't be sitting quiet for more than five seconds. You'd be like at each other's throats immediately. Your partner tried to defend themselves while well, you wouldn't listen. And you felt as though it's, it, you are right. But from what I can see, your partner did not cheat on you with another person, romantically speaking. No, no they did, not, they did not cheat on you. Yeah, and they are kind of fed up of this repeated cycle that you won't give up. You will not give up on this argument, yes, from the looks of things. It's like, it's as though you're obsessed you're obsessed thinking that you're right and you're obsessed thinking that your partner is lying. But it's a misunderstanding. Your partner has not cheated on you. In fact, this behavior, yes, is destroying this relationship. It's causing heartbreak and pain on both sides. Yeah, I think it's time for you to take a step back and change your perspective on things in order if you want to save this relationship. Yeah. If you want to move to a success with the both of you in peace and harmony, I think it's time for you to change your perspective on this matter at hand. Your person, yeah, they want to leave this all behind is causing them nothing but grief. Maybe it's time for you both to sit down and have a much needed chat uh, in a manner where it's not going to end up in an argument. You need to be open with each other during this chat. Yes, you have your time and say and the person should have their time when they say they find this whole thing a bit too much to handle really. Yes. They find it's out of their hands. All they want 
is to move away from all this, uh, um, excuse me. She gave me a heart attack, I'm sorry. Bubbles, I'm busy, you know that. That's not a whisper. Give me a minute, let me close the door. There's too many distractions. Mm. It's kind of your relationship, yeah. <laughs> Too many distractions, darling. Let me drink my water. Yes. <clears throat> so let's take a look. Your person just wants to move away from all these conflicts. It's causing them too much, too much... Um, it's like a headache, you know? <laughs> what they need actually is a Panadol or something. A Paracetamol. So, they want to move away as quickly as possible, away from all this nonsense, and just focus on rebuilding this relationship, if you are willing to. Yes? Are you willing to? Yes. You are willing to. You are willing to focus on this relationship. Your person is here, not done anything wrong, but you feel as though they have. <laughs> you're quite arrogant. You're quite stubborn on this. You're quite rigid in your thinking. Oscillation. One moment you're saying yes, let's work on it. The next moment you're like turning around and you get all upset again. Mm. Cancer Leo. Talk about it. So, yes, you want to work on this relationship, you want to put in the work and the effort, yes, but at the same time, you have this feeling as though your person is giving to another. Maybe they are not focusing too much on you in the relationship as you would like them to, yes, but if you have a proper conversation with them, yes, instead of overriding them and their thoughts on the matter, looks like you're not listening. Looks like you are kind of the one who's talking a lot here without taking in what your partner is saying. It has to be an equal uh, give and take situation, yes, Co equal conversation. But from the looks of it, it's coming on your side, darling. Maybe there is some things about you you need to change, yes? Maybe you need to relax a little bit, take time out to yourself, stop thinking so much negatively. You have this, it's kind of set in your head, you know, this mm, set in your ways attitude that you're taking over here. It's like you're addicted to conflicts. Cancel Leo, addicted to conflicts. I would expect Aries Taurus to be addicted to conflicts, but Cancer Leo. Maybe you like the drama, you know what I mean, in your relationship. You need to take a look at yourself, <coughs> from what I can see. Uh, introspect, yeah? Go inside and uh, look at your life and your behaviours from an outside point of view. You know, take a step back and then play your life like a movie reel and see how you may have affected. Have an unbiased view on your life, yes? And then you perhaps will understand. Because from what I can see here, 
you f you're kind of addicted to this kind of behavior. You like the performance, you like the drama, you know, in the situation. But maybe it's time for you to take charge and change your life, yes? Once you come into this feeling of knowingness that maybe you need to change a little bit. So, if you had any qualms, any queries, <clears throat> if your partner was cheating, no, they were not cheating on you. Okay, they may have perhaps been working over time. At the most, they would have been concentrating too much on their work and not dedicating too much time to you. In fact, they may have been ignoring you. Well, that is the part they need to change. They need to find a balance between work life and personal life, right? This is one to end it all. It seems like your partner just wants to end it all. <clears throat> and they're going to tell you that. Yeah. Also, your finances were not doing well, from what I can see. And that's what, <coughs> excuse me, my throat is not doing well these days. <coughs> yes, your finances are not doing well, is what I can see. Mm -hmm. And maybe your partner may have been working overtime, and you may have been working too, but it may have been misconstrued that your partner was actually doing something else than work which is not true yes so good God. you're going to receive some kind of clarity in this situation and you're going to decide to put an end to it hmm? to whatever was not serving you both in this relationship you're going to have to learn to be just and fair in and unbiased in your views about things so if someone is saying something and they're supporting it with their behaviors and their actions yes so it is true right but if they say something and it's not supported with their behaviors and actions then there's something fishy yeah but from what i can see your person is clean hmm? yes absolutely so you will receive this clarity and this will open and pave a way for your heart again. Heart to beat with love for this person. Hmm? You will make the decision to put an end to this kind of behavior. At least you will try from what I can see. And you will try to also achieve a balance in your spirituality along with practicality. Hmm? reality and spirituality so what does it mean this this communication or whatever you're going to talk about here okay is going to give you the clarity you need with your person not only that it's going to bring you uh, it's going to release you from all these doubts and fears and this addictive behavior that like a woodpecker you know you are pecking on your person and these doubts are gonna go away and you're going to be fulfilled again, all right? <coughs> so I can see coming into your uh, present moments, yes, you may have, uh, you will be going within, yes? Wow, wow. You'll be going within and taking a look well you'll be going within and taking a look at what's been going on yeah in your life right Your person is happy that things are changing. Now, you may have kids as well. You may have two kids. For some of you, you may have three kids. You may have two kids. Uh, someone here may have, you may have one kid from this marriage and there may be two kids from the other marriage, you know, something of the sort. But whatever it is over here, I can see you all both are going to start 
to work together and try and heal this relationship. Yes, there's going to be a lot of talk. There's going to be, um, it may be at a beginner's level wherein you're learning to communicate all of a sudden, all of a, all over again, I mean, yes? So it's kind of, um, it's coming across as a bit shy, it's coming across as a bit meek, you know? Because now you'll have to learn to communicate all over again because for a long time prior, I can see that it was only arguments and fights and blames and this and that, right? So you're not going to be learning how to communicate again on a clean slate. And this is making a person very happy. It's making you, it's giving you the healing you need in your life as well, right? And it's bringing you the uh, stability emotionally, you know, mentally. It's bringing you the stability that you need in your life. Hmm? You both are going through a lot of realizations. You both are going through a lot of... Um, to a new way of being in this relationship after a lot of realizations that have taken place. Right? You are trying to understand each other on a brand new level. Sorry about that. <laughs> the video cut off while I was still speaking. So, to be understanding each other on a brand new level yes but, but from the looks of it your person is not yet trusting of you yes and it's still in the initial stages right initial stages of healing this relationship yes and you're worried about this you're worried about your person not investing completely in you and you're getting a feeling it's creating a lot of stress and a lot of mental stress and anxiety in you. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing to worry about as such. Your person is taking their time. Healing takes time. It's not going to happen overnight at the click of a finger, right? It takes time. So give it some time and give it some space. At the same time, free yourself from any negative thoughts, any negative behaviors. Instead, refocus your attention on your creative side, creative pursuits, your job, or your home, or refocus your, refocus your attention on love. Yeah? Basically, open a doorway to invite positive, positivity back into your life. You're going to have a brand new stable beginning. Hmm? There's no doubt about it. You're going to have a brand new stable beginning. As for your person, they're making a decision that all they want to be is happy. They want to just be happy with you. They want to celebrate with you. They think about the times that you all were so happy and so trusting of each other and they wonder what may have happened. Yes, as for you, the romance angels are telling you that divine timing is at work in your love life and it's worth waiting for. You are healing, your person looks at you, they can see the difference and the changes that you're making in your life, okay? The universe is asking you to believe in the impossible. Believe and you will achieve, darling, right? Believe in the impossible, believe in love. Yes, believe in the, this relationship. See the positive side of it, yes? Not all was bad, not all was negative. I don't know where you got this uh, idea that your person was cheating, you know. It's some, I think it's somebody sowed a seed in your head which did not work out in your benefit, did it? Right? So now you're trying, you're learning to understand all these factors that played a role in your life. This is, even though you have stress and anxiety with regards to moving forward in this relationship, yes, wondering if things are going to change for the better, your person is having the same uh, reaction, yes? <laughs> your person is having the same reaction. They're wondering if, it, if the passion will be restored in this relationship, if you'll look at them again, if there will be stability in this relationship, because you're being a bit guarded. 
Yeah, maybe you're coming across as a bit guarded to your person. But in saying that, darling, you're more than willing to have a brand new start with this person of yours. Yes. Even though sometimes you feel, mm, maybe I'm, maybe he's still telling a lie or she's still telling a lie, right? But no. You'll have to be logical, analyze the situation, yeah, be fair and just, darling, yes? Move towards the abundance. As the moment you let free of all this negativity and all this negative energy, yes, you will be moving towards abundance in love, in life, okay? Put an end to it all. That's what you will do as well. You'll put an end to all this binding energy yeah that was mentally physically spiritually consuming you you know and you put a rest to it all and decide to move ahead into this relationship into this forever after into this family life of yours with this person hmm? your person they have made up their mind as well they want you they choose you and they just want the stability to come back in this relationship. They are not understanding where you got this mm, thoughts from in the first place. Hmm? There's a lot of love. There is love, love, love. There's a lot of love. Don't be in two minds about it. Yes, there is a lot of love. There's a brand new start in love. Okay, it's time for you to move away from any of these negative thoughts, you know, and um, doubts suspicion all this energy yeah let it go don't let it rule your life because there is nothing wrong in your relationship no one has done anything wrong over here that i can see as for your person i can see they are rising up to their duties and their responsibilities that has to do with this relationship and they are deciding to move away from anything that is not serving this relationship and they will be helping you out as you will be helping them out yes You'll be helping each other and healing this relationship together and you will be thriving. Yes, this is a past life relationship and yes, you have known each other before. If you were asking. <laughs> right? Yes. So from what I can see, your person over here is wanting to move very swiftly after going inwards and introspecting themselves as well and this relationship and they're making this very wise decision of moving towards <coughs> happiness with you. Yes, after receiving all this clarity, I think this is going to be a month of revelations for you both. You'll be talking, discussing on a level that you'll have not done before. So it's kind of you're introducing it in your life. You're going to start from the basic level. So you're going to lay your foundations down all over again. But this time it's going to be a firm foundation where there's going to be a lot of stability. There's going to be a lot of love. And there's going to be a lot of happiness. Yes, always remember nothing is set in stone. Hmm? <clears throat> nothing is set in stone. So if you felt hate towards your person before, Remember, love heals everything. Love. Operate from a space of love. Always remember, love heals everything. Okay? <clears throat> you feel as though your intuition is telling you that this person... Oh, what is going on with you, darling? Oscillator, you are really getting on my nerves because you're oscillating backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards you could just going backwards and forwards now your person is so happy to be going ahead with you yeah in happiness and joy and towards the happiness you make up your mind yes 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 you want to go together with this person heal the relationship yes yes this and that okay but then there you go once everything is in order, once everything is coming back into balance, here you go again. So there is some kind of karma that needs to be resolved here. There's something, you need to look inwards, you need to look into yourself, you need to change your perspective on things. 
there you go again thinking, oh, but I intuitively feel that this person has cheated on me. And, you know, maybe there was somebody else they're not talking, telling me about, not revealing the truth and this and that. There you go again. I, I strongly feel as though the person over here does, you cannot live <coughs> without drama. For some reason, you want some kind of drama in your life. <laughs> At least keep the drama outside your house, you know what I mean? Not inside your house, you've got to live all that negative energy inside your house. Good God, open your windows, let some fresh air in, you know what I mean? Every time you get upset, walk into the garden or something. So, nothing is set in stone. It's in your hands, you have the power in your hands. If you want to change the situation, it is up to you. Okay, if you want to stay in your head and make up things, it's up to you. At the end of the day, you're risking this relationship, you're risking it all, just for a bit of suspicion, which cannot be substantiated. Not even the tarot reading can substantiate really what's going on in your head. Because from what I can see clearly, your person is clean. They have not cheated on you. They want to be with you. They want the stability. They want this relationship. But you, for some reason, you're just oscillating backwards and forwards. You know? It's all in your head. This says it all. It's all in your head, darling. It is all in your head. You, it's like self-sabotage. Yeah? It's like you're sabotaging your perfect life that you have here. Why would you want to self-sabotage your life? I hope you're not listening to too many negative readings. You know, everything is alright and then you go back to it. You start all over again, both of you, and then you're back onto it, blaming them of cheating. They have not cheated, no. They want to be happy with you, you know. They want to now. They'll be on, on a. Um, they'll be wondering. They quite. They actually. They want the honesty of the situation where you get all your information from. <laughs> Who's telling you that I'm cheating? You know. What I mean, that's what this person is saying. So I think you need to chill out a bit and take a step back and, you know, see things for what they are. And so running things in your head too much, mm -hmm. live in reality, okay? All right, my darling, <laughs> learn to differentiate between reality and whatever is made up in your head, like a movie. <laughs> right, so let's see what the Soul's Journey card has to say. Guilt. Mm. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. You hear that? I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. So your soul is not growing, it's just going backwards and forwards, the same old story, right? So it's time to release it. And Archangel Michael says, write about your thoughts and feelings, okay? Please say this prayer with me to Archangel Michael. Thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I clearly express myself and glean insight, blessing and healing. Right. I'm so confused with your reading, darling. I do not know what to name your video, but I'm sure I'll think of something. Right. So let's see what signs we are dealing with. You're dealing with the Gemini, the Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Dealing with Aries, Taurus, Scorpio, Pisces. 
right? So, my darling, cast of oscillation. I just hope to God you stop oscillating too much. Yes, it's like a whirlwind over here. You sent me spinning with your reading, right? So I hope you achieve the you're able to achieve the balance by the end of the month, and I send you all my love and lots of light. Yes, and hope everything goes well with you. Until we meet again, darling. I love you. Take care, and God bless.